You wouldn't think of Oklahoma as being the home of several distinguished admirals in the Navy. Mark Mitcher was born on January the 26th, 1887 in Wisconsin, the grandson of German immigrants. Two years after his birth, in 1889, the family moved to the newly created town of Oklahoma City. Mark's father, O.A. Mitcher, had been working in the dry goods business in Wisconsin, and arriving in Oklahoma City, he opened Mitcher & Mitchell Dry Goods at 138 Main Street. O.A. Mitcher quickly became involved in politics, serving as the second mayor of Oklahoma City from 1892 to 1894. He was unsuccessful in a run for governor. Then in 1900, President William McKinley appointed him agent for the Osage Indian Reservation in Pahuska. Unimpressed with local schools, his father sent young Mark Mitcher to Washington, D.C. for his education. Then in 1904, U.S. Congressman Bert S. McGuire appointed him to the U.S. Naval Academy at Annapolis. Eventually, they gave Mitcher the nickname Oklahoma Pete, or simply called him Pete. Through his career in the Navy, his closest friends continued to call him Pete, not Mark. In six years, in 1910, he graduated 113th out of 131 classmates. At Annapolis, he developed a passion for aviation. He served in the fleet until 1915 when he found an opportunity for aviation training aboard the USS North Carolina. By 1933, Mitcher had logged more than 3,000 hours flying 50 different types of aircraft. And in 1941, he assumed command of the carrier USS Hornet, a part of the Pacific Fleet. In April 1942, the Hornet carried Colonel Jimmy Doolittle's 16 B-25 bombers that raided Tokyo and other Japanese cities. On May the 30th, 1942, Mitcher was promoted to flag rank Rear Admiral, and in June of that year was battle-tested at Midway. He participated in most of the major battles in the Pacific, including the Philippine Sea, Lady Gulf, the Marianas Turkey Shoot, and the assaults on the islands of Iwo Jima and Okinawa. In 1946, became commander of the 8th Fleet. The Navy had awarded Mark Mitcher three Navy crosses by the time he died of a heart attack in February of 1947. Oklahoma Pete, the man who rode ponies on the plains of Oklahoma, is best remembered as World War II's preeminent fast carrier task force commander. Mm -hmm.